You know, if you keep doing something long enough, one thing that you really love and you keep doing it, it eventually firms up into something very substantial. I feel like at this point, I'm enjoying what I do a lot and I, I've been so experienced in it that the things that I'm coming up with are worthwhile. There's always more um, marketing to be done to have people see what these things are that I think have a lot of value. At some point in my life, long time ago, I realized that what I really enjoyed more than anything was creating things that were good for me and for other people. That I got the most joy out of doing that, so I decided at that point to just focus on that pretty much. Um, every now and then I sway a little bit and do something for myself. <laughs> so uh, when I was young, I I was born into a musical family. My dad was a sax player, my mom was a singer, and I had two older sisters um, who, they were twins, and they, we all grew up singing together and with my father on his gigs and in various musical situations. Um, then uh, I went to Berkeley College of Music for uh, flute and arranging and composition. I was young, but I, um, I got a lot out of doing that. Uh, and at Berkeley, I was there from 72 to 75, and I was in, uh, just around 19 years old, and uh, one of the only women in the school at the time. So, you know, I was a little distracted. <laughs> but I really learned uh, so much of what I loved there. Arranging uh, was just great. I loved writing, handwriting, music, um, and I loved the community, which I had grown up with community anyway because of my father, but that was kind of the beginning of my community. And so I, I came away with a strong sense of community, which is why you see me a lot these days creating things for community and being known for that. Um, I love community and I, I just love seeing people get notoriety and, and um, kind of educating the general public about the value of what we're doing. Not only are we artists and artists both carry a responsibility and also have the uh, beautiful gift that God gave us of carrying forth beautiful life lessons in the form of art. Um, that's our responsibility as well. But the cool thing about it is when we are really honest about our own art and our own creation, you know, that comes through us, the better we are, the better it communicates to people. And I was just talking about this with a friend of mine. The best way to sell something is not to sell it. The best way to sell something is just to communicate and to be as good as you can be. So along all of these lines, this is what I am working on all the time. In this day and age, it's it's an interesting thing making money. It's changed so much making money as an artist over the years. So my goal in Patreon is to have uh, financial support so that I can keep creating these ideas, these new and creative ideas that will benefit the community. I, I would do this anyway, but to have financial support, that means things like uh, I can hire people to help, which is huge in my life because I have so many different things that I have my little fingers in that having somebody or some people to help is really extremely beneficial and that's that's really why I created this patreon account um, and also I can give you some special things that you might not get from just being in my audience or knowing me as a friend and um, you can give me some value in just supporting me is which is a really great 
emotional and spiritual support and and uh, some opinions. So I, I really look forward to seeing how this goes and I hope you uh, come along for the ride. Okay, all right, bye.